Hello friend, this is Jerry with NAR Analytics. This brief walkthrough will help you get started with NAR, but there's a lot more information on our support portal at support.nar.io. In this video, we'll go over projects and activities, loading data, advanced filtering, and capturing analysis with notes and snapshots. Let's jump right in. When you log into NAR, you are presented with a homepage, also known as the deck, that contains all the projects that you have created or that have been shared with you by others. On the right side of the screen, you can see an activity feed, which contains relevant information for the projects to which you belong. Click on any of these activities to jump right to the project or dataset or snapshot. A project is a single dataset or group of datasets that you and your team members may be using to perform related analyses or solve a specific problem. We know that it often takes multiple different datasets to complete an analysis. So with NAR, we provide the ability to add any number of datasets to a project and quickly swap between them as you're exploring. The example we'll walk through contains both campaign marketing data and website traffic, a common combination of data you might use to understand campaign effectiveness trends, but provide different perspectives that don't necessarily link. Adding tables to a dataset is simple. Tables will automatically link to related tables on like field names, as can be seen in this dataset. NAR also supports both SQL and MySQL syntax for ETL, so SQL savvy users can perform transformations directly in NAR or use the interface to insert code automatically and apply. Once data is loaded, we can easily see some metadata and previews of tables and fields by clicking them. Quick note, to share a project, click the share button in the top right corner of the screen and add your teammates via email. It's often helpful to use the filter grid view to see all fields in a dataset at once. Change the dataset via the dropdown to swap to a different dataset and see those fields as well. One very important thing to note with NAR is that it's built on an associative analytics engine, which enables you to associate data across many different tables. We can create these associations easily via a concept called lenses, which is denoted by the camera icon on fields and formulas. Click this icon and you'll be able to filter a field based on various criteria in another field, such as show me all the job titles who saw an Instagram ad but did not see a Google ad, or give me the top five campaign IDs for each of the seven campaign types by number of clicks. This is a really powerful feature that allows you to do complex data filtering and can be applied anywhere you see the camera icon. One of the main ideas behind NAR is that you can quickly and easily annotate your analyses with notes and snapshots that are shared with everyone in a project. I like to start my notes with a quick explanation of the datasets I'm using, as well as the overall problem I'm trying to solve. This allows any of my teammates to understand what I was doing, why, and with what data, so they can easily pick up where I left off or add their own flavor to my analysis. Notes support rich text like headings, bullets, and font formatting, as well as simultaneous collaboration with others so you never have to worry about locking notes or getting overwritten. Quickly save a snapshot of your canvas inside your note by clicking Command or Control K. You can rename the snapshot inline by double clicking it or by heading to the snapshots view and changing it there. In the snapshots view, you can see all of the snapshots that have been taken by any user and easily search through them or filter by tags. To add a tag, click the yellow Add Tag button in the bottom right of the snapshot. At any time, you can click Explore from this snapshot and you'll be taken back to the state of the canvas when the snapshot was taken, with all of the selections and charts so you can continue the analysis. There's a lot more to NAR, but that should get you started. For more information, head to support.nar.io, where you can access all of our how-tos, FAQs, and community. Thanks for watching.